question? This wasn't a lie. Charlie, why was why was not the testimony of the four witnesses allowed in court? Uh, the judge ruled that uh, any of the testimony by the experts would be irrelevant. Uh, we, of course, argued that the defense, one of the defenses, is justification, and that the standard for justification is that the weighing of evils, in other words, the evil sought to be prevented, should be a, a an objective standard, and that these experts could testify to the objectivity of the views of these defendants in making that judgment. Now, the court will not commit itself to whether or not we are left with a subjective standard, but we're left without experts to testify on our behalf. Did the judge give any reason why he ruled as he did? No, I think he, he say, said in open court. Uh, he read the materials, apparently quickly, and he made his ruling, and that's that. He would not allow us to argue the matter, and we are now foreclosed from having experts. Does that mean all experts, everybody that you have mentioned to us so far? Yes, it means out? all of the witnesses that we have proposed. We have named in our memoranda of law, totaling almost 100 pages of different uh, matters that we've submitted to the court. We named the experts. We gave their credentials, the ones present here and others, and the court has rejected all of them. Yes. Eight. Experts with who are the other experts aside from the four here? Do you recall offhand? That would be Dr. Helen Caldicott from Boston and Daniel Ellsberg um, from California, former Pentagon official, who will not be coming. Right. right. Are you going to propose any other expert witnesses? I think it would be futile to propose anything uh, in the nature of an expert witness. Uh, the next round really is uh, whether or not the judge will accept the testimony of the defendants because they are really left to their own devices as experts uh, as to what they know about these missiles and the destructive power of them and in their minds uh, what the subjective view was uh, based on what they had read from these great men who are on both sides of me today. And if uh, I can just see it as a lawyer. Their testimony is going to be irrelevant. It's going to be hearsay. It's going to be everything under the sun but admissible. And I think that uh, the question of a fair trial under this roof is, is passed. Did the judge answer questions about why he had said earlier that the defendants would be allowed to put on the case that they wanted and why he explained at such length the argument of justification to the prospective jurors if he was going to rule that all uh, expert testimony was irrelevant? No, I think the judge has reserved to himself the right to change his mind. And uh, that's what we have seen several times in this case. It's exactly what he said before he adjourned. He had promised us the right to argue this case in open court. We were prepared to do so. Ramsey Clark and I were going to argue the case, and uh, he denied us that right. There was a lot of material there. There were dozens of cases. There wasn't a single Pennsylvania case cited by the prosecution. We cited dozens. We cited cases from other jurisdictions as well. Did he promise you the right to argue it in open court, in court or in sidebar? At sidebar, on the record, he promised it. And in open court, he said he changed his mind. But I'm just afraid that the, you know, this is a very demoralizing development for, for all of these eight good people. And I'm just afraid that, that inside they're making the decision that if they're not to have a fair trial, they might as well not have a trial at all. And I think it'll be a, a, a terrible event that after all the suffering that they've had, that they can't now be heard. And I hope they don't come to that decision. But I think what we, what we would like to do is, is have the experts come and testify as character witnesses to the extent that they can. And at least the jury will know that they came from far and they, they will hear their credentials, and they will know what kind of men stand behind these, quote, crazy people. Will you now make an attempt to have the experts presented as character witnesses? Yes, we will, if the, if the defendants agree to that. I, I have to say that I'm not in communication at this minute with their decision, and uh, as we stand here, they are deciding their own fate, which is whether or not in this court, with this judge, they can have a fair trial. And I must say, if I were a defendant, I'd have trouble with that decision. From a national law point of view, uh, how would you describe the justice that's taking place in this court 